I'm supposed to move into the marker beside the man to talk to him. That's my current main task. As you can see, there's a lot of side tasks that I can still tackle. And even a treasure hunt. Great. So when can I start taking all these tasks on? Close the mission booklet by clicking on the button with the green check mark. Hello, Louisa. Did you arrive safely? I'm Frank, and I was a very good friend of your uncle's. Have you looked around yet? Hello, Frank. My trip was fine, but I haven't really had a chance to look around yet. Then I'll show you around. The riding school was your uncle's pride and joy. He had no children, and you were his only niece, so he left it to you. That big building over there is the house with your room. You can do various things in your room, like finish the current day and save the current game. You can also change your t-shirts, jeans, shoes and riding gear if you have some in your wardrobe. You can also change your hair color there. There's a mailbox in front of the house. Use the displayed control for interaction to get your mail out of it. Do you see the longish building next to the house? That's the stable for your horses. You can store horse riding accessories like saddles, bridles and saddle blankets at the back of the stable. The stable normally holds up to six horses, but most of the boxes need repairing, so only one is available right now. If you want to buy new boxes, just drop by my shop in the village. I'm the local dealer here for horses and equestrian equipment. Great. Is there a riding club here? I've loved riding since I was a kid. Yep, there certainly is. Your uncle was the president of the club for many years. After his death, I took over the chairmanship. But without him, it's just not the same. What do you mean? Your uncle was a great person, but he was also an excellent show jumper. He won a lot of prizes and brought in funds and donations to support the club. Funding just doesn't come in without a local champion, and we're in bad shape. I'm afraid we'll have to close the riding club soon. That's terrible. Is there anything I can do to help? The club has to win the major tournament this year to survive. But the competition's extremely strong. Cornelia has won every title for the last five years. Beating her will be a heck of a challenge. Great. I love challenges. Where do we start? You'd really help us? Well, that's great! Your uncle had a horse you could train with, but it disappeared after your uncle died and no one knows where it is. Better check the stable entrance. Maybe you'll be lucky and find its tracks. I'll wait for you. I should start by looking at the stable entrance. Here are some tracks on the ground and they still look pretty fresh. The horse must be nearby. I'll follow the tracks. I hope I find it quickly. We don't have much time, because the tournament starts soon. The tracks lead into the forest. Here you are. Frank didn't even tell me your name. What am I supposed to call you? Don't worry. You'll be home soon. All right. Let's get back to my riding stable. Well, what have we here? Oh, hello. I'm Luisa. And who are you? Who am I? I'm just the five-time winner of the big annual show jumping tournament, and the title holder this year, too. Cornelia's my name. I'm sure you've heard of me. Oh, yes. Frank mentioned you were in the tournament, too. Too? You don't really want to compete against me, do you? Do you actually think that you have even a slight chance against me? 
I am determined to participate and win. Ha! Don't make me laugh. I'm sure you don't even know how to ride a horse right, and that you can steer it with the displayed controls. And you certainly don't know that every time the displayed control is activated, the horse chooses a faster gait. And every time the displayed control is pressed, its gait gets slower again. And I bet you've never heard that the displayed control gets the horse to jump either. Ha! You probably don't even know that you mount and dismount using this control. Not to mention that your horse loses more endurance the faster it goes and has to rest and go slower when the endurance display is empty. Hmm. Well, of course I know how to ride a horse. I rode almost every day in my childhood. Your childhood probably was before your club's last victory. Ah, I've wasted enough time here. See you at the tournament. Okay, fine. But that was a friendly encounter. I am a little rusty, though. But that's something we can fix, isn't it? Lucky for me, our new acquaintance didn't realize she was actually telling me how to do it right. Not very clever of her. All right, let's go. I should mount up and go back to the riding stable. Use the displayed control for mounting and dismounting. You can now see some new displays at the top of the screen. The top bar shows you the level of progress. You can now see some new displays at the top of the screen. The top bar shows you the level progress of the horse. The number to the left of the bar is its current level, and the number to the right of it is the next level. Below that is the endurance display. The faster you ride, the faster the horse loses endurance. Just walk the horse or stop, and it will recover. The higher this level is, the more endurance a horse has. The heart symbol indicates the horse's contentment. If a horse is dirty, it becomes discontent and may no longer jump or gallop. In my stable, I can take care of it and always make it feel good. I use the displayed control to move forward, and with each press of this displayed control, I can increase its speed from a walk to a trot to a gallop. Let's do this. The horse's chosen gait is displayed to the right of the bars. I change into a trot by using the displayed control. Hey, this works great. I have to use this control again to ride at a fast trot. I'm sure it'll help me in competitions. I should change to a gallop and give it a try. So I use the displayed control again to change to a gallop and then use it once more to move into the fastest gallop. Hey, really fast, but it uses up a lot of endurance. When my horse gets tired, I should change to a walk or even stop to increase the endurance level. So I just use the displayed control several times to change to a slower pace each time. But now back to the riding stable. Obstacles can usually be overcome with the displayed control because then my horse will jump. Okay, I get it. But my horse is still too discontent right now, so jumping is out. We're back. Thanks for waiting, Frank. I see you found the horse. Very nice. Yeah, it was all alone in the forest. I see you two have already got to know each other pretty well. You really do have a knack for horses, Louisa. But it got pretty dirty on that little trip. You can't enter the tournament like this. Do you see its heart symbol? It's not completely full anymore. Here's where you can clean your horse. Ride your horse into the marker and use the displayed control to care for it. Care increases contentment and fills up the heart symbol. If your horse is content, it will follow all your orders. I have to clean my horse now. You are now in the cleaning view. Here you can see all the tasks you have to do to keep your horse in top condition. Once you have completed a task, it will be marked with a check mark. Now select the brush. Clean the rough dirt off first. Just run the brush over the horse. 
The bar above shows your progress. Very good. Next, you should wash it. Select the sponge. Now you can move the sponge, like the brush, over your horse's coat and clean it of any dirt. As the last step, select the hoof pick to clean out the horse's hooves. Now move the hoof pick several times over the small lumps to clean the hooves. Very good. Your horse is clean and happy again. Now click on Done to leave horse care. You should always make sure that your horses are well groomed. If you neglect them, they'll become discontent and will no longer obey all your commands. You can check the status of your horses in the horse overview by using the displayed control. Here you can see your horse and all the necessary information about it, like its name, endurance, contentment, and level. You can call up the horse overview at any time and click on the Done button to close it. Now that your horse is clean again, you can start training right away. Nearby is your own training ground, which you can always use. My son Martin is waiting for you there to explain the basics. Here is the map of the area. When you use the displayed control, the map opens up. Use it to find your destination safely and to orient yourself. You can always see the smaller overview map, but it only shows you your immediate surroundings. Thank you. My horse and I will make our way to the training ground. What a great map! The training ground should be close by. I just hope I'm not too rusty. I can close the map by clicking on Done. Hello, you must be Martin. Frank already told me about you. Hey, you must be Luisa, our new club member. I'll tell you a little bit about the tournament and the training ground. The tournament consists of three classes, beginner, advanced and expert, with three competitions each. You must win all nine competitions to win the tournament. You must always finish first in the competition of the tournament to be able to participate in the next competition. And your horse must have reached the necessary level. So use the training ground to advance your horse to the necessary levels. The horse can only gain experience for competitions on the training ground. To reach a higher level for your horse, you have to complete the training course, called to parkour, without getting too many points for fouls. All right so far? Yes, I understand. Before starting your training, you can choose a parkour to train on. Ride into the yellow marker here at the training ground and use the displayed control for interaction. At the moment you're only at the level 1 parkour, so you can't choose another one yet. But during the tournament you can unlock new parkours, which you can buy from a father in the village at his vendor stand. Now select the first parkour, Close the menu using the button with the green check mark and start your training. As later in the tournament, you'll be against the clock. Try to take the obstacles as quickly as possible, but pay attention to their sequence, the endurance of the horse, and try to avoid getting fault points. You'll get fault points if you don't take an obstacle correctly. Every fault has a negative effect on your end time, your training then fails, and you'll have to repeat it.